This is the 2019 Volvo S60. Just want to do a quick introduction. I'm only going to go over the outside of it. One of the first things you'll see that really sets it apart, now this is going to be an R design, so you're going to have a horizontal grille rather than vertical, and the face of the vehicle is going to be a little bit longer or lower to the ground. One of the things that actually helps with lowering it is the body inserts. You can see just additional along the front here. It's also going to be along the sides and the rear. Kind of gives it a lowered look. Uh, really helps with the appearance of the vehicle. Now the R design is actually made to give you more sportier hints than, let's just say, an inscription or a momentum, which could possibly be your other selection. A couple of things on the face of the vehicle, which is going to be the front here. You can see the high gloss inserts, which is going to be your grill. You can also see the lower inserts as well. Fog lamps, by the way, which most cars are going away with that. They're putting it into the housing of the lighting rather than having the separate fog lamps along the bottom left. Additional eyes. Also going to help the corner, your cornering lighting. But your high gloss inserts, your additional body insert along the bottom. Back in the day, they used to call that a ground effects kit. As we go around to the side, a couple of things that really make it stand out. I really love the side of the vehicle, and you're going to notice that as we actually walk around. We're dealing with tight quarters, so you might not get a full view, but we're just going to walk you from front to back so you get a general picture of the scope of the vehicle. One of the first things is the flat nose front end really makes the Volvo product distinctive. You will notice that on a number of their other vehicles, which really helps them to stand out, stand out from their competitors and also gives them additional pop. Now along the side, it really helps for a car to have both shoulders. Looking from the previous model, which had a more masculine hood, where the hood stands up taller, which you'll notice you particularly get that with cars of high horsepower. But this one has a flatter front end and very bold shoulders. You can tell by the scope of the, the side here on the panel, which really helps out. Now that's going to be an upgraded wheel, which is typically for the R design, but don't worry. You can always change your wheels. Typically with most consumers, the wheels are the first thing they happen to change. One of the other things that they did went away from was the outside, which was more of a gray or silver outside mirrors. But with the S60 and the R design, now they're going with a black. <laughs> and you're going to notice the paintballs actually going by. <laughs> Paper balls. Don't let that distract you. We're talking about the S60, but you have the high gloss outside mirrors. That's going to be a distinctive feature and immediate change that they actually made from previous years, our designs. Now, character lines. You'll notice the high character line here. You'll also notice the high character line over the hips of the vehicle. That actually helps to give it more character for other stuff to separate it from our competitors, but at the same time, it helps a little bit with airflow but definitely gives it a little bit more character with it being an S60. Come around to the back side. Remember that body insert I showed you along the front? You have the same thing along the side. Just gonna help you get more of a lowered effect and gives it more of a powerful look as well. Now, you're standing in a great area because from here you can take a look at this open rear end. This really helps because notice the angle here. You remember back in the day you used to have spoilers? Well, on this vehicle, because of the way it's angled, you really don't have a need for that because you already have the look you're looking for, which is more of a scoop look. Adds a little bit, you've heard me mention a number of different times, more character separates it from the competitor, which that's all of what the automobile market is about. So when you're going from vehicle to vehicle, dealer to dealer, this vehicle is something that you'll definitely remember long term. Take a look at the back end. Body insert, notice your exhaust, dual exhaust, both sides, separated. So you do have it on the left side of the vehicle and the right side of the vehicle, always point that out. Very masculine feature. You'll notice that on some of your other powered vehicles, such as the Ford Mustang, the Chevy SS, different vehicles of that sort, but very nice job what they've actually done there. If you've ever seen an S90, 17, 18, or 19, same look. S60 is nothing but a smaller package S90, but it actually stands. <laughs> Fumble, but it actually helps it to stand out. I think with the smaller package, the S60 really, really adds a little bit more eye feel than the S90 behind me here. That's a brief introduction to the exterior of the S60. 
It's one that I really feel you'll like. But before we go, get a quick glimpse of this interior. And we'll dig into that a little bit later. So definitely subscribe, hit the subscribe button so you can continually come back and get the updates on the latest Volvos.